Dallas Mavericks, an interesting team for fantasy, a little bit of a change most likely happening, a little bit more up pace, faster tempo, more passing in this offense with the arrival of Luka Doncic. I think he is going to be the best fantasy player on this team. Someone you look at in the range of drafts between, say, 60 and 80 is probably the right spot, but he does have really true uh, true upside for the top 50. I think Dennis Smith also can be a top 100 player this season. Struggled a lot with his efficiency last year with Doncic around to alleviate some of that ball handling and creation pressure. I think Smith's efficiency takes a step up, but one guy I'd be looking at as a potential bust type player is Harrison Barnes, who's getting way overdrafted. I think he loses some usage. I think he loses rebounds with DeAndre Jordan in town. He's always been a little bit of a one-trick pony in fantasy anyway, being a guy who uh, scores and doesn't do anything else. If you're going to lose rebounds on top of that, plus lose a little bit of scoring, I think that he's going to struggle to be a top 100 player for this season. Whereas DeAndre Jordan, as we know, always a punt free throw percentage type of a player. His numbers should be similar to what we saw with the Clippers, although we'd be hoping that we see a little bit more of an increase in his block numbers, which were very disappointing last season, under one per game. If that can get back up, along with his legendary field goal percentage, high rebound numbers, he is a strong mid-round guy in fantasy. But they're the guys that I think we should be looking at play Players like Wes Matthews, J.J. Breyer, and Dirk Nowitzki, I think we should be leaving those for deeper type of leagues, especially with Dirk not even on the court yet and likely to come off the bench for this upcoming season.